Hello everyone. Okay, so today is going to be a hunt for axolotls day because that is the only thing that we have left to do here in this world. So, on that note, um, if you all remember, here's the aquarium that I built. Uh, spent a good chunk of the first couple of videos trying to slowly make this took a lot of time um so we don't want it to go to complete waste so i'm gonna be getting buckets of water uh also making potions uh for underwater breathing and i'm gonna be going around different places and trying to find some axolotls because yeah it's it's that's the only thing I think that is left that we wanted to accomplish. So I'll get that going here and keep you guys updated as we go along.
Okay, so just a little bit ago, I was flying around trying to find the next spot, and I managed to happen upon an azalea tree that was in a forested area. I know that I've read and heard about lush cave systems, etc. So I came to our underground area here that's not too far from where we took care of the uh, guy on the last video. But I wanted to try to dig over to that spot but have a safe place, you know, to get back to. Uh, so I'm going to try and dig over here, see what I can't get to, and go from there. Hopefully this lush cave provides, you know, better outcome than all the underwater caves along the ocean line. Uh, we've already found one, or a couple lush caves throughout the time, but neither one of those produced even one axolotl. So, we'll see. Um, I'm not going to you know, hold my breath or anything like that. But it'd be nice to be able to uh, find one here. So we'll see. But let's hope that happens. So I came across this underground area. There's a lush area right over there. And I heard tons of water and I look up and I found this. The only problem is I already went up there once, and all I'm finding so far are tropical fish. Uh, so still no luck finding any axolotls. Um, it's been interesting. I haven't reached the area that I was going for quite yet. I just happened upon this one and decided to stop, so we'll see if I come across any. See, there's another fish. Um, but yeah, we'll see if I happen upon any, and, uh, hopefully I do at some point. Be nice to be able to get that finished, so. Okay, so you can't see them that well, but I managed to find a couple axolotls down there, um, so now the fun part is trying to get down to them without dying. Because um, there's mobs everywhere down there. So we shall see. I'm going to see what I can't do and see if I can't get them to come up towards me. Oh, it might be working. Maybe not. Well, we'll have to see. I'll see how to try and get some of these guys caught in here and see what I can't manage to pull off here, so. Okay, so I finally got them. Uh, it took me a little bit. I almost got blown up by a creeper a couple of times. Um, mobs were coming out of the woodwork everywhere. But I managed to get two. And that's really all I need because I can take these two and feed them and go from there. So, oh, it's just, it's been a long, long journey. I uh, still got about 300 more blocks to run before I can even start going up the stairs <laughs> and then take the flight back to the house. I'll put on my elytra wings and go from there, but it's been a journey, that's for sure. Uh, now to get these things where they need to go and in their rightful place.
Alright, so as you see, I got the axolotl in their spot, and then I came to our lovely XP grinder here and uh, got all of my stuff repaired. Um, now, Augustus just logged on. He's going to kind of show the polar bears like to attack me, so I just, yeah. Uh, but he's gonna show me and um, the gold farm that he made because like I, I've said before I don't do redstone stuff but the most I could tell you is that is it and I do not know how it works or anything else hey look there he is but yeah he's gonna Show me how to get up and in and everything else. That is kind of cool. So yeah, once I get up there and we start getting this figured out, I will uh, get up in there. How does this thing work? That just got loud. <laughs> and that is the magic. That is getting really loud. jump over here so that I don't go deaf here, but yeah, that's something, this is the kind of stuff that Augustus does, he researches all the different types of farms, and then he kind of pieces his own stuff together, so that's a single gold farm multiplied, it's, it's a four-way gold farm, so all that goes and goes, and I mean, with the new AFK, we could probably even AFK out here or something if we needed it, but it's just something he wanted to have fun building. Um, so yeah, the adventures of Minecraft and Bedrock, and it's glitching the game. I'm having trouble even moving. <laughs> that is epic. Alright, and as you see, it's only been running a few minutes, so we'll go check the... Whoa, if we can get over there. Yeah, he cleared it out before we started, so... I mean, if you could imagine sitting here for... A handful of minutes. Oh my god, I gotta get away. It's glitching. <laughs> Looks like he finally he turned it off. But yeah, that's just fun stuff. 
here on this world. I'm gonna go ahead and head back. Thank you for showing us. So what? Well, Chris. Oh, the amethyst air. I haven't even gone down there yet. Where is it? Okay, sorry, he's yelling at me from the other room, so. Apparently, oh, look at that. I would go down there, but I'd probably hurt myself. <laughs> so apparently right next to uh, that lovely thing, he found a nice geode here. And the sun is starting to set, so I'm going to head through the portal. Because crazy things come out at night. <laughs> we'll head back over to everything and just kind of give you guys a little glimpse. I named the axolotls Augustus, Sphinx, M, and then Baby 1 and Baby 2. Uh, I didn't want to actually use real names, um, but it's just sort of a representation of us in our current home together uh, with Augustus, myself, and our twins. So I just did, I just named them Baby One, Baby Two. It works. But sometimes they'll even, the axolotls will come over and greet at the glass here. I kind of sat here for a good little while earlier just watching them. But it's nice to have this finally complete on this world. That was one of my biggest things was completing this. And it's, I didn't even complete it for myself. I kind of did, but I guess you could say because it's an achievement I wanted to do. But... Augustus is really big on aquariums and things like that, and so I really just wanted to make one for him. Um, but we now have four gold axolotls in there. Uh, I also finished up one thing that I had almost forgot about um, until I was trying to go through the list of everything I needed to remember. But... I finished the lava side. I hadn't, didn't finish the lava side earlier on, and it just dawned on me. So I got in here, and there's now dripstone with lava. So we have lava sources, more than we could ever need. Uh, water sources in the other tower, more than we could ever need. Uh, the third tower has a mob spawner, and it's not letting me through for some odd reason. There we go. I love when the game glitches. So yeah, so got most objectives done for the day and I'm going to try and go around and see what else there is that I might have been forgetting about uh, and see where I can't go from there. See if I can't get anything else done. Um, but yeah, on that note, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!